So earlier today, Minitune did a live stream on Piggy and a bunch of Piggy fan games, and he's answered a bunch of questions that a lot of you guys had about Piggy and the story and Zizzy. Minitune actually answered a question as to whether or not Zizzy is still alive, whether we're going to see her again in the story, and what's going to be happening to her going forward. Obviously, at the end of Chapter 3, she got infected. So let's go ahead. Let's hop into this. There's a lot of questions to go over, a lot of answers to tell you guys about. Let's do it. Before we begin, I also want to give a shout out to Roblox Piggy News here on Instagram, obviously going through a two to three hour long mini tune live stream just to get all of the answers and all of the questions takes a long time. And especially me, you know, who does a video and a live stream every day, along with a bunch of other stuff in real life, it's somewhat difficult to have the time to do that. So shout out to Roblox Piggy News for compiling all this information for me. I appreciate it. Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm going to go through all of these questions. I'm going to give you all the answers. Let's get started. So the first question that somebody asked kicking it right off the bat was, was why does Zizzy not have her sword? because if you remember, Zizzy doesn't have her sword at all throughout the, the entire book two so far. And one mini tune answered, you'll find out in a few chapters. So that's interesting. I didn't think Zizzy's sword was going to be really important, but I, I guess it is. We'll find out what happened to it. Next question. Is Penny a kid like Georgie? Also, something else, if you guys don't know, mini tune did change the name of George to Georgie, I guess for copyright reasons. So I guess going forward, George is going to be Georgie. Anyway, answer. Yes. Yes, she is. I, we already kind of knew that, but clarification. Here's a big one. When will the new piggy skins be coming? Because if you guys remember, Minitune is going to be redoing all the skins to make them more copyright free, if that makes sense. And Minitune said two weeks, so two weeks from now. Awesome. When will the build mode morphs be coming? A week after chapter four. So this is going to be a big few weeks. Obviously, this weekend, we got chapter four. And then next week, we're going to have the new skins. And then the week after that, we're going to have the morph update. So lots of updates coming to piggy. Next question. Can you give us another hint on chapter four? Minitune said it's going to be chaotic. So not really too much of a hint. I don't really know what to go from that. I, I still think the, the safe house is going to burn down, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next question. What is the next Piggy UGC item going to be? And Minitune said probably Willow Wolf, unless you guys want something else. And I think that's a good safe bet. A lot of people really like Willow Wolf and being able to make your Roblox character into Willow Wolf would be pretty awesome. Now, this is an interesting question. Did Mousy steal Robbie's legs? And Minitune said maybe. So maybe we're going to see like an actual Mousy come back in the future with with Robbie's likes. That would be interesting. Not something I thought about saying. Minitune also said that he's going to be working on fixing Mr. P. If you guys don't know, Mr. P has been bugged for literally months since he came out. If you don't have the proper avatar package equipped and you go to play as Mr. P, you'll actually just fall through the map, which isn't fun at all. So hopefully that gets fixed soon so that we can actually play as Mr. P. Now, this is an interesting question. Will Zizzy be coming back? Minitune answered and said, yes, I won't say how though. Now, this is really interesting. This confirms that we are going to be seeing Zizzy again in the future in some form, which leads me to believe that my theory on her maybe, you know, yeeting her arm off or, or some form of that is probably true. If she were to come back in the future, I guess that means she is either A, not infected or B, uh, she comes back as an infected. So if she does come back as an infected, that means that we're probably going to have a fight with her and we're probably going to have to take her out, which would be really, really sad if that's true. However, I do think that she did yeet her arm or found some way to not be infected. Uh, so I guess we'll, have, we'll just have to wait and see. You guys can leave your theories down below. But yes, Zizzy is coming back. So that's cool. Another interesting question. Why is Foxy in a cage? If you remember in the carnival map, Foxy is in a cage. And Minitune said, you will find that out in future chapters in book two. Now, keep in mind, I theorize that the reason why Pony left TSP is because he's the one who put Foxy in the cage. I think that Pony is actually the reason that Foxy got infected and he put him in the cage. He, he let him turn. And because of that, Pony felt bad about it. And he left TSP because remember, Pony used to be a TSP, but he left. And I'm pretty sure my theory on that is going to be correct. Again, we'll have to wait and see. But I I think this pretty much confirms that something like that happened. Another interesting question. Will you add VIP server commands into piggy build mode? And Minitune said, yes, probably when the morph update comes out. So VIP server commands in piggy build mode, you'll be able to change the bot that you want in build mode and a variety of other things, which is awesome. So that's cool. Now, I also wanted to throw this in here as well, because it is pretty cool to see that Minitune is going to be adding guards in the next build mode update. So you will be able to put the guards in your maps, just like it is in chapter three of book two. If you walk past the guards, 
waves and they aggro onto you and they chase chase after you. So that's pretty awesome to see that it's going to be coming to build mode. But yeah, that is all the answers, all the questions that we have so far from Mini Tunes interview. If I missed any or missed anything important, let me know down in the comment section below. I, I think we've got everything. This guy here, he does a very good job of collecting all the information and putting it on his Instagram. So shout out to him. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, like I said, big few weeks of piggy here. So go ahead, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on anything new that Mini Tunes says or posts or updates to the game. And of course, keep using star code real quick when you're buying your Roblox, buying your Roblox premium. It helps me out and allows me to keep buying a lot of Roblox codes to give out to you guys, which is good. Helps you help me help you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.